Ah yes, the early 2000s, when video games were shipped in their completed form, and multiplayer was designed around the intention of sitting on the couch next to someone. But for some reason, with multiplayer mechanics locked behind extended single-player campaigns, including in games where the multiplayer component is the majority of the fun of the game? Weird flex by the developers, but we have a solution for that today. Welcome to Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Yes, the other Melee. A kaiju beat-em-up where up to four people can duke it out, at least if you've completed the campaign before. Now, the strictly multiplayer modes do require an extra controller plugged in in order to be accessed. However, in the modes that require four people, the AI just takes over. You can play with two people. Adventure mode is the campaign, and you may notice that there are only three monsters to choose from at the moment. So out of the box, you need to beat the campaign at least once in order for your third friend to join you. And in order to unlock all of the monsters in the roster, you do need to beat the game with every other monster. The adventure campaign is pretty standard if you played something like Soul Calibur or Mortal Kombat before. You're gonna have to go through eight different opponents, you've got three continues, and if you use all of those continues, you just have to start over. So eight matches by ten different monsters that you're gonna have to complete it on is gonna be 80 matches total, assuming that you never fail. If that doesn't sound like fun, then lucky you, the internet has answers. Whenever you realize that you don't really want to have an extended experience of fighting the CPUs in a game that you really just want to play with your friends, you can go ahead and close your emulator. Both the Game Saves Project and GameFAQs.com are decent options for places to search for your game save files. For the GameCube specifically, the Game Saves Project is pretty nice because it has a link to a spreadsheet where you could visually see what games are and aren't included. Custom Robo would be another good game to do this sort of thing with. The download itself will be pretty quick because the game save files are small. You might want to browse for additional game saves while you're here just so you don't have to keep coming back. Once you have the download, you can move it directly into wherever you are managing your Dolphin files from. I am currently using the default directory-driven memory card rather than a raw virtual memory card file. Once the save file is wherever you keep your game saves, you could boot your game again. As you can see, our save file import was successful and all of the characters are now unlocked and playable. Adventure mode. 